Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we're looking at the Marvel Legends Ant-Man figure which is really the only Ant-Man figure that we've gotten in the 6 inch scale. I wouldn't mind seeing a new version of him um, when the new movies come out. Hopefully we get a new version, but this one's really not that bad. I'm reviewing this. I might have reviewed it a long time ago, but somebody asked me to re-review it since it's been a while and I'm not sure if I did or not. So, um... Whether they're right or not, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this figure. He's actually pretty good. He's just not, you know, exceptional, I guess is a good way to put it. He's about six inches tall. He does have a removable helmet, but the helmet is made so that it looks good while it's on. When you take it off, he does have a bit of a peanut head. And I have to say, the face sculpt, not really the best. He looks like he's kind of making a, um, a holding in a fart kind of face. So even though the paints are good and the sculpting work itself is good, it just kind of looks off. So we're going to leave that helmet on. Uh, these are normally more straight out. Mine are just warped, so don't worry about that. The neck has a uh, hinge in there and a swivel for the head, so that's normal. We have ball hinge shoulders, full range of motion, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. We have a wrist swivel, a wrist hinge, and a finger hinge. That's really just going to be an open hand. This one can make a fist, so that's good. I really like the way they sculpted this guy. He's one of these bodies that has more of an organic look to him, even though this part looks kind of odd. A lot of the bodies at this time period had really boxy muscles, and this one looks pretty good, I think. Ab crunch, he goes forward a little bit. He goes back a little bit. It's not great. And then it is kind of sculpted weird there, but it, it's kind of easy to not pay attention to. It doesn't look so bad. It does have a waist swivel. He has Y-jointed hips, but you can rotate the thighs around with the thigh swivel. We have double-jointed knees. Not the best knees in the world in the world with that extra bit there. It kind of elongates them when they're bent, but it's not bad. And we have a boot swivel. The boots are all sculpted nicely. Ankle hinge, ankle pivot, whatever you call that ankle rocker so that's good and a toe joint toe hinge so pretty good articulation in the lower leg uh, and well, actually the legs in general the arms are all pretty good uh, there's really not too much to complain about it would have been nice if some of this was sculpted a little bit better but it's not horrible and the paints are pretty good could have used a little shading here and there they did sculpt the uh, the gloves there so it's a pretty good figure it's not great but it's definitely worth getting since it's our only 6 inch Ant-Man and I suspect his value is going to go up fairly soon so you might want to grab him sooner rather than later just in case they don't make a new one so there it is guys I don't remember who asked me to review it but hopefully that review gave you what you wanted thanks for watching stay tuned for more figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting